Have you ever wondered over, when am I ever going to use this in real life in your math class? You have a clear answer for when you think about basic math applications like counting, addition, multiplication, percentages, and so on. When it comes to calculus, we often find ourselves scratching our heads with confusion. Many of us are never again going to use calculus directly in our life. But just because we are not going to use calculus directly doesn't mean it is not important to know. Calculus is still around us and we benefit from the applications of calculus every day. In short, calculus is a brand of mathematics that involves the study of rates of change. There are two branches of calculus, differential and integral calculus. Differential calculus is the rate of change of functions with respect to their variables. Integral calculus concerns itself with the space or area under the curve. Students see calculus as just a gateway for getting a degree, but it is so much more. Calculus can be fun to understand and cherish if we are introduced to its basics in a new light. Anyone can walk through an art gallery and appreciate the great paintings without fully understanding the techniques behind every brushstroke. Similarly, to understand the beauty of calculus, you don't need to sit down and solve a tricky differential equation. In Latin, calculus means pebble, because the Romans used pebbles to do addition and subtracting on a counting board. The word became associated with computation. You can witness calculus daily while driving your car from these two dashboard instruments. The speedometer, which measures speed from a record of distance, make use of differentiation. That is the central idea of differential calculus. The odometer, which measures the distance traveled from a record of speed, make use of integration. That is the goal of integral calculus. Perfect shapes like square, circle, cubes can be solved using geometry and algebra concepts. But in nature, everything is not in perfect shape and size. Suppose you need to find the area or volume of an irregular shape. With the help of calculus concepts, easily you can find it. Before calculus was invented, all math was static. It could only help calculate objects that were perfectly still. But the universe is constantly moving and changing. Calculus helped to determine how particles, stars and matter move and change in real time. Calculus is the language of engineers, scientists and economists. Calculus is used in a multitude of fields that you wouldn't ordinarily think would make use of its concepts. Let's check a few of the unusual cases. Role of calculus in weather forecasting. Meteorology is a branch of the atmospheric sciences with a major focus on weather forecasting. Weather is more accurately predicted than ever before. It made possible with computer modeling that uses calculus that can more precisely predict upcoming weather. Weather forecasts are determined by considering many variables such as wind speed, moisture level and temperature. The basics of meteorology are grounded in differential equations, helping meteorologists to determine how changes in the temperature and pressures in the atmosphere may indicate changes in the weather. Role of calculus in public health Epidemiology is the study of the spread of infectious disease. This field relies heavily on calculus, where calculations consider mainly three factors, such as those people who are susceptible to a disease, those who are infected with the disease, and those who have already recovered from it. With these three variables, calculus can be used to determine how far and fast a disease is spreading, where it may have originated from, and how to best treat it. Calculus is especially important for such scenario because rates of infection and recovery change over time so the equations must be dynamic enough to respond to the new models evolving every day. Use of calculus in economics and finance 
calculus lies behind all theories and models of finance. It is an essential tool to analyze a business. Calculus used to determine the right time for buying and selling of products, how many people buy it, the margin value of a particular product. It starts from economic models of demand and supply, regression and data analysis in econometrics, going on to valuations of securities and instruments in investment finance. Credit card companies use calculus to set the minimum payments due on credit card statements by considering multiple variables, such as changing interest rates and a fluctuating available balance. Calculus in Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence systems are used to perform complex tasks in a way that is like how humans solve problems. Machine learning, which is a subfield of artificial intelligence. Calculus plays an integral role in understanding the internal workings of machine learning algorithms. Algorithms are calculations used to compile a large amount of data and variables into an equation, spitting out the best possible answer. For example, Google's search algorithm helps to refine the searches for the person behind the keyboard. Use of calculus in space exploration Astronomers use calculus to study the different motions of planets, meteorites and spaceships. For a rocket to be sent into space or a satellite into orbit, astronomers must use calculus to figure out how much fuel the rocket or satellite needs to accelerate to the correct velocity to break through the atmosphere. Calculus involving differential equations is also used by astronomers and physicists in designing telescopes, mirrors and lens. Many of today's most interesting astronomical insights were gained with the use of calculus. There are countless number of real-life applications for calculus. For the time being, let's conclude here. In summary, if you have any problem in a moving or changing system, you can use calculus to model it and solve it. This ability to model and control the systems gives us extraordinary power over the material world. Thanks for watching.